Hello everyone, my name is Ian. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorite video of the July month. July month literally flew by. I, it was really exciting. I started my YouTube channel, I did my internship, and I had my apartment for the summer. It, it feels like an adult and the time flew by literally, like literally. And I have a couple favorite and disappointed of the month of July in this box. Don't worry, it's not all Sephora. Some of them is um, drugstore and some of them is Korean brand. I'm very excited. And if you have any favorite and disappointing products that you want to share, please comment down below. And before we go, please subscribe to my channel. I <coughs> oh, I post video every Saturday. And let's get on with it. So. First of all, I want to start with my hair product. So before I reveal to you guys my favorite hair product of the month, I just want to let you guys know about my hair health. So my hair is some, I dye my hair multiple times. I perm my hair, so my hair is pretty damaged. And this normal um, shampoo conditioner, it has been really drying on my hair. So I found this amazing shampoo that makes my hair feel moisturized and makes my hair feel really clean. It's like a good in between like clean, dry and like moisturizing. It's like in between and it smells so nice. So this is the product. Um, this is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Condition Shampoo and Conditioner. It's amazing. It smells amazing. It smells like candy and flour and everything good in the world that you can think of. This is um, pretty ex expensive for shampoo. I think it's like a bottle of this big. Ah! This size is around 20 bucks and it, it of course is more expensive than drugstore brand but I think it's totally worth it if you have a damaged hair like me. But if you have a like, normal hair that you never dye, never perm, I think you can go by with um, drugstore shampoo. So next up is also my hair product. And this is the Bio Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Gel to Oil Overnight Repair Treatment. I have been using this in a while. I would put it before I go to sleep and then in the morning I would wash it off. Or I will come back from work, put it and then wash it off at night. It works amazingly. It makes my hair so soft. This is I did it this morning, so it's still this this is it this is all the product and I have a couple friends that touch my hair and then they were like, what product do you use? Because they know that I have been dyeing my hair multiple times and it's this. It smells amazing and I have people complimenting about my smell too. They thought it's perfume, but no, it's this. It's amazing. Um, and it is also Sephora product. Not like Sephora product, but like it's sell in Sephora, so it's not like a drugstore product, but I swear by this. And next up, I want to go in with the toner. So this is the Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing All Over Toner. I there's um I think a few months ago I had a breakout and I just don't know what I went wrong with it. Sometimes you know your skin just kind of like I want to act out like I'm just not like you know just without a warning it just come out and this toner has been saving my life. I, but I already finished using it and now I'm diverting to other, I, I, already fi I already finished it and it really helps controlling oil so if you have a dry skin I wouldn't recommend this product but if you have oily or combination skin I would recommend this and if you're breaking out then I would definitely recommend this. This is amazing, I can't talk much about it and it's very sensitive skin friendly, I have a sensitive skin so that's a plus. And next up, I want to talk about this Clinique Turnaround Revitalizing Serum. I bought this all of the whim. I didn't do any research. I didn't hear anyone talk about it. I just went to the like store. I was walking around and I was like, I'm looking for a serum. And I my skin was pretty dull. And I was like, I want something that makes my skin, you know, popping like a highlighter. But this is amazing. Okay, first of all, is again since scent of skin friendly and it doesn't smell like anything which I also appreciate and it makes my skin so smooth and it doesn't break my skin out and I really like it you can't really see like the first or second time usage you probably need to see it over time but I 
would recommend this product. And next, let's finish our like skincare product first and I will go into a makeup product. I don't have much this month, but next month I will have more, I promise. This is the Aloe Natural, Nat Nature, <laughs> Nature Republic Aloe Vera 92% Soothing Gel. This stuff is amazing. It's, it's so cheap. It's so good. Like, you know, sometimes like when you use body moisturizer and it actually doesn't help or doesn't do anything really. But this one though, this one though, like this is amazing. I, I have been saying amazing, but of course this is my favorite video. It has a gel consistency and look at this. Let me show you guys. Looks like this. I have been using this nonstop. Ah! And it's it's it like it's soothing so much. It's like you I don't know if you guys have put aloe vera on your body before. I have. And it, it feels like this. I, I can't close this. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. Okay. I can't like so you just it looks like this. I hope you guys can see it. It's amazing. Just put it on your skin and it feels so nice. It's like a bubble of water. You just put it on. And next up, I want to talk about my perfume. It's so nice. Okay, this is so nice. I never heard of this brand before until I was like walking around so far. I was like, I need to buy a perfume. And this is a um, Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. So this is, I think, created by an artist and it has 10 cents in this collection. And each collection have a story or like a short movie going with it. This is um looking glass, so good. It's like it smells like I'm really bad at like in like explaining smell, but this is has like a very floral, a little sweet, a little I don't know, but it smells so good. It you guys should try it. If not, you guys should just like go into Sephora and try to spray on it and Okay, and <laughs> I just taste it. Okay, so this, look at this. The packaging is magnetic. I love this packaging. It's like, it feels so luxurious. It's like heavy on the hand. I mean, a lot of perfume is heavy on the hand, but this is amazing. I love the packaging. It's white. My favorite color is white. And now I'm done with the hair, skincare, and perfume products. We're gonna move on to makeup. And this makeup is this. I still can taste the perfume. I don't like it. All right, this bronzer is amazing. This is Tarte, Park Ave Princess, Oz, Amazon and Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. It's amazing. It has, um, it has mirror, and it also has this color of bronzer. It, I love this color of bronzer because this bronzer is not like an orangey bronzer. It's literally between like warm tone and cool tone and it lasts all day. Like when they say like it's like waterproof, it's waterproof. Like I saw like YouTuber like going to the pool with this before and it still look amazeball. And yeah, I can't say, I can't like recommend enough about this. And the next thing I want to talk about is this KKW, this Kylie cramp liquid lipstick in Kimberly and this is amazing color like I had it for a while but I don't know why I don't I didn't use it much this is the color like it's amazing and this is cramp so it's not like her normal matte lipstick matte, matte liquid lipstick that's like really really drying this is very like soothing and you have to apply it multiple times in a day but I really don't mind it because I like reapplying makeup. I don't know. I just don't know. But this is amazing. I would recommend it. And next one is disappointment. So before we go into disappointment, I just want to let you guys know that if I don't like it, it doesn't mean that you guys won't like it. Or, you know, because we all have different skin type and different time of the day. We have, you know, we all have different skin types. So don't take it personally. And just this is just my opinion. And let's get on with it. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. So I love this brand. I love Neutrogena. I love their sunscreen and their makeup remover wipes. But I don't know what happened with this because normally Neutrogena is sensitive skincare friendly 
and this one when I'm when they first come out I was like really excited this is gonna be my morning cleanser I have different cleanser for morning and night but I, I was like this is gonna be the perfect morning cleanser but it makes my skin break out so that was that's a big no-no for me and I now use it for my hand soap never throw things away ladies and the last thing last product I want to talk about today is the Claire's is the Korean skincare is a freshly juiced vitamin drop, pure vitamin C. As I told you guys before, I always need help on making my skin a little bit brighter or livelier, and I was like, this is gonna be amazing. However, this makes my skin break out. It clogged my pores and it just make my skin acting up. So now, like I, I have a couple spots here, like here. And like here, like it has, I have a lot of like breakout with using this, but I was like in a denial because I was like, all right, not because of this, I'm not gonna accept this, but now I accept it, it's because of this. And after I stopped using it, my skin has been starting to clear up. But disclaimer, I have been breaking out every time I use oil, so maybe it's not the product, maybe it's my face, but this is my disappointment product of the month, and we're here this is the end guys and um please thumb up if you like this video and comment down below your favorite products and subscribe if you haven't already follow me on instagram all my socials down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye